another one of the main concepts of the Upanishads is that of communication. It doesn't matter how much knowledge and how much purity of mind the individual possesses, it is all useless if they cannot communicate within their society. When the Upanishads talk about communication, it's not just that of the verbal form as in speech. It is that of body language and also that of action. So we have three forms of communication. We have the verbal speech, we have the body language, and we have the action, the deeds. Let's go a little bit deeper. Verbal communication, we all understand it is through talking. But that is just half of it. The other half is the active listening. Very often we hear, but we do not listen. We hear what the other person says, but while they talk, we play our own dialogue in our mind. We assume, we interpret based on our past experiences. It is highly important that every so often we stop talking, we stop playing our own dialogue in our mind and we listen to what the other person says. We now move on to the body language. It is extremely important that we pay attention to how we present ourselves to the others. I can tell you, I am so happy being here right now. My words don't match my body language. I am closed up when I'm doing this. So I am actually lying either through my words or through my body language. Most of the times we lie through our words. It is harder to lie through our body language. So body language is how we present ourselves. Are we honest? Are our words honest? Our body is gonna say whether our words are honest. We also need to observe, pay attention to what the other person tells us through not just their words, but through their body language. Observing to understand, observing deeply, not just, oh, I like the shirt they are wearing. Really connecting with them. And the third form of communication is through actions, through deeds. How do we actually live our everyday life? Do our actions match our words? match our feelings. The reason the Upanishads are so particular about communication is because they teach how to live horizontally, not vertically. 
living horizontally means finding liberation within the community. Considering this world as the base camp of enlightenment. Living vertically means finding liberation in isolation. In other words, considering this world as an obstacle to enlightenment and walking away from it. It is wonderful that we have the wisdom of the Upanishads to help us find contentment and the state of bliss within a community. The wisdom of the Upanishads gives us tools on how to find the state of bliss and liberation within a community rather than in isolation. Learn more during our teacher trainings or our online course on the Upanishads.